All right, guys, in this video, we are going to be breaking down a couple of the plays between the Cowboys and the Eagles and show just how much Mike McCarthy is such an underrated aspect when it comes to how great Dak Prescott and this, Cal and this Dallas Cowboys offense is playing at this current state. Dak Prescott has put himself in contention to win the NFL MVP. I think it's got a lot to do with how how Mike McCarthy is being able to utilize him and along with their playmakers and just put Dak in a great position to be successful. On this first play, you're going to see that they are in an empty pro set. Pro is with the tight end on the line of scrimmage with a wide receiver flanked out, out wide of him. They are going to take that back from the bottom of the screen, motion him around, go into an orbit motion and get a toss and a pin and pull sweep action. This is early in the game, early in a drive, and it's a really good momentum starter, high percentage play, low risk, and it's able to kind of take that uh, pressure off of Dak Prescott early in this game. They are also able to catch the Philadelphia Eagles in man coverage. As you can see, the corner is having to travel across the field with the motion. This puts him in a bad position. And also the safety, number 24 right there, is caught with his eyes inside on his man and allows him to get the great leverage on the outside. All right, so here we are once again in another empty set. They just motioned the back all the way to the top of the screen, and they're going to get to a nice, easy flood system here. But what I like is the nice tight end delay chip out to the release of the flat, and then you're going to get the intermediate deep out, then with the go to the outside. Philadelphia is in a cover two set, but they're going to roll to a one high cover one man, but they're also going to bracket the slot of CeeDee Lamb. But once CeeDee Lamb breaks outside and Bayard really bit hard on the flat, Dak Prescott knew that he had the leverage to the outside, and this is just an easy pitch and catch for Dak Prescott and this Cowboys offense. Mike McCarthy also does a good job of utilizing multiple personnel sets. Right here, they go from an empty to now two tight end set. They're going to motion their tight end into an offset fullback position, and they're going to run same side split zone. You can call it kick zone or one back power. But the whole offensive line is going to run zone to the left. They're going to kick out this wide nine technique, and then they get great vision by Pollard. And once again, this is just marrying the, uh, the pass with the run and get a big explosive play with some pretty good blocking out on the perimeter. The motion pre-snap was pretty big here. As you can see, Fletcher Cox was in a five technique. He bumps now down to a four eye. That allows the combo between the tight end to really get down and then just kick out that wide nine, and it really was able to string this play. All right, so what I love about this, it is a lot of window dressing to get to pretty something simple. They're just going to go four verts right here, but you're going to get two motions. Uh, right now, CeeDee Lamb is now motioning from left to right, so the defense has already called their strength. They're having to communicate and reset their defense based off that, but then right after CeeDee Lamb gets set, they're now going to motion another guy back from right to left, and all while this is going on, they're losing the tight end. So CeeDee Lamb now bumps over. You get Cooks bump over back to the left, and now they're going to go four verts, but that soft spot in that zone right there is going to alleviate and open right, uh, right open for the tight end and ends up being a big play for the Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott. But the pre-snap, you get people having to recommunicate, bump their coverage, and it just allows a little bit of mis miscommunication by the defense, and Dak is able to find that soft spot in that zone and get another big play. All right, so this one right here, there's really nothing fancy here, but not every play has to be fancy. It just needs to be effective. And what I like about this is Mike McCarthy is utilizing his best player and constantly moving him around. The defense has to find CeeDee Lamb. He's in the slot here. They motion him with a little just pop pass, get him the ball quick out in space and allow him to utilize his legs. Defense has to kind of play the Where's Waldo game and just constantly changing his pre-snap alignment makes things a lot better for everybody else involved. 
This next play here is just another good example of constantly moving your dudes around, trying to get the defense's eyes uh, focused on one point and to be able to hit them on another. So right here, CeeDee Lamb is posted in the slot in this trip set, and he's going to run kind of like a deep little post, deep little in route, and they're kind of bracketing him to where they're going to roll to a cover three, but he's going to run with them and then it's going to leave that backside post right behind it to hit Cooks, who is a dang good receiver within himself. But the Eagles are definitely concerned with what CeeDee Lamb brings to the table, and it just, unfortunately for them, opens up. Dak Prescott's able to read it and throw a nice, simple ball, and that's a high percentage throw. So a couple plays later to score on this drive. I had to put this one in here. They're going to go with a rub route. Now CeeDee Lamb is back in the slot to the left. And there's probably a lot of people who don't like this play are going to get triggered, especially defensive coaches. CeeDee Lamb is just going to run right at the corner right here. And at the last second, he's going to do this little spin move right there. And it's, you know, he even looks back. He's looking for the flag. There is no flag called. Technically, he didn't pick him. But, I mean, he did pick, but, you know, that's what's in the game. You're always trying to find a little bit of a gain of leverage. He goes right to him, spin, nice little rub, and it ends up for six. All right, so on this next one, this one's pretty nice. They're going to short motion the tight end into the slot, and what you're going to see, you're going to see the safety come down, and that's already going to show Dak Prescott that they have now checked and bumped into a man coverage on this side of the field and then kind of go into a split coverage. But so now I believe this is an option route as he releases and he works to the safety. All right, he gets outside leverage. He pops it right back inside. Dak Prescott is able to get rid of the ball fairly quickly. And it's just another high percentage throw that ends up, you can see the yak after the play. You're going to be able to see once again that safety rolls down as soon as they motion over. 21 recognizes it. They bump to man. Presses outside leverage right back to the inside. And, I mean, these are just high percentage throws for Dak Prescott. And Dak Prescott is on the same page with Mike McCarthy. And they're rolling at this point. For this last one, we're just going to show an example of what spacing can do, especially when you've got some guys across the field that you feel confident that can beat the man across from you. They are spaced out here in basically a two-by-two two set. Recognize that it's cover one man. Dak Prescott is going to hold the eyes of the safety just long enough to be able to float this thing out there for Cooks. Cooks gets just enough of a step on his corner, and he's able to beat it for a big play, and this was the ended up being the game-winning drive to be able to finish this thing off. Dak holds into that pocket long enough and delivers a great ball. So that was just a few plays of what I believe like Mike McCarthy is just doing a great job with Dak Prescott and this offense as a whole. Uh, they're being able to spread some teams out and utilize utilize their best weapons and really just get the, get the ball in and out quick out of Dak Prescott. And hey, Dak Prescott is another year wiser. He's another veteran and he's really grasping this offense. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. As always, like the video and subscribe to join the community. Until next time, stay humble, stay kind. Peace.